Hello, everyone. Um, glad to see you all here. Um, excuse me, I'm just taking a few things off my desk. Because today I'm going to try to uh, do some readings for you all that I promised. Uh, it's been over a month ago now. And I'm, uh, I'm ashamed that it's gone on this long, but... Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on around here, too. But I won't get into that because I'm trying to keep a positive mindset and uh, to get through this. Um, so, anyway. I can tell you Albert's mom's doing fine so far, as far as we can tell. Well, considering all that she's gone through um and they're not always getting along because Albert can be a little bossy <laughs> and uh she can be setting her ways too and, uh, so there's going to be some conflict here and there um but uh yeah enough about that be gone bad vibes be gone And I gotta have my coffee, of course. That's my mic there. Okay. Well, are you all ready? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get my camera, in case I can't figure out how to uh, get this thing to share. But I'm gonna try. Okay, let me try sharing this page. Okay, I'm hoping you can see this. If not, I'm going to tape it on camera. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't hit share screen. So, uh, sorry, you all missed it. But I got it live on camera. So... I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, I can tell you, though, I know who the winner is. Well, I won't leave you in suspenders. Here's that clip. Okay. There you can see everyone's name's in. This is for the drawing for all the readings. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to push the dot in the middle. And. Here they go. And it's setting on. Oh, Bridget. Yes. Congratulations, Bridget. You are the winner. You get a drawing from everything. Bridget's never got it before. That's cool. So congratulations, Bridget. Okay, I think it's safe. Turn you all down. Here we go. Okay, great. Nice surface here to, to work with. I'm sorry to tell you all, I lost my torch lighter, so I'm going to try to make do with this. Oh, come on, spirits. Be gone, foul spirits. Be gone. I'm going to set out my uh, crystals. Night. Okay. 
Oh, and remember, folks, I was going to possibly release um, that craft I had made up for Easter. I lost my video somewhere. Don't know where it went. But it is gone now. I looked over everywhere I could think of, and I could not find it. So I must have uh, accidentally erased it. Which sounds like something I do. Definitely. And I mentioned before, in case you all missed it, I now have a new set of runes called the Wiccan runes. And they're different. They've got different symbols on them and stuff. So that'll be another option in the future. It's too late for this one. But who knows? Uh, Bridget, I might give you a, a Wiccan one also. Along with the regular. You might end up my, as my guinea pig here. <laughs> it's been a little while. Things have been a little off. But I'm going to try my best. Oh. To help even more. I've got to have the singing bowl, of course. Okay, good spirits, come in. Help me focus, please. Help me focus. Okay. So... Let me do Bridget's first, then. Nope. Got to have the pendulum. This is a definite. Okay, this is a maybe. We'll put this one out here. I'm not sure about that. I kind of get a feeling off of this one. Let's see if it might apply. Okay, it might not, too. Let me throw that away now. Okay. Uh, first of all, this warns against being reckless. Okay. Um, it says, you know, it, it sees possible frustration in your future. Um, you, you're going to feel hassled. It might even go as far as to be legal problems, but that's just an extreme possibility. Probably not. Let's hope not. Okay. Now this next one shows there's going to be a change in your life. Um, a renewal. Something's going to uh, start out of very little. You're going to make make your dreams happen as you know as possibly as you can uh there's victory you're going to have very good vision trust your instincts your instincts are going to be very on point so here in the near future follow your instincts um i see achievement um also possibly Possibly a time of uh, to take some rest, too. I guess there's been a lot going on for you. Um, maybe, probably not physically, but uh, emotionally, mentally, maybe. Um, 
you need to take a break. Get away from all that. Um, hmm. I see uh, possible family problems going on here. Not sure what that's about. Or family needs. Uh, your family is needing something or something, some issue going on there with the family. Um, and I see, once again, I see anxiety and worry. You're doing a lot of worrying, um, a lot of stress, a very stressful period. So I would try to listen to this rune and do the rest thing. Give yourself some time to, to recoup and get back on your feet. Now here, once again, this one is showing a transition. There's going to be a change. Something's going to be ending. Something's going to be beginning. Um, going to be a new beginning. Um, uh, you're going to be faced with giving up the old, but with that comes a new beginning. There's always a new beginning and new possibilities. Okay, so endings aren't always that bad. There's always some good that can come out of it. Um, now, this one is warning you that you might be used by others. Maybe uh, this family thing that's going on, maybe uh, you and family can can take advantage not saying that they are Bridget but uh, even sometimes they can I, I know <laughs> that's just how family can go um, but uh, we're, oh I was on this one um, also you, you'll be vulnerable and uh, you, you might be misled someone might be uh, misleading you down the, down the road here um not saying that it's family for sure but uh this seems like the people that's coming up you know here so i don't know who else they might be referring to these are really the only group listed on here so it may or may not be um but uh there you go bridget that's it um sorry to hear I hope things don't go as, as rough on you as it looks like it might be. Okay. Now, there was a lot of people on that ring list, so let me go back and look here. Okay, Mama Cat. Mama Cat wanted a ring reading. So here we go. Come on, Mama Cat. Let me see. I'm hoping for some good news here for you, Mama Cat. As I always do when I do rune readings for everybody. Mm, come on. Okay, I think that's got some. I can't get it to, uh, that's cut some. Nope. Yep, that's got push. No. No. These are no goes. Um, and this one may or may not be in here. I'm not sure which way to take that. Um, let me see how the reading goes. So maybe that'll help figure it out. Okay. Oh, I see this one down here. Did I miss it? Hmm. 
No, I'm not getting anything off of that anyway. So back to where we were. Okay. I see a period of weak will, low energy, um, possibly an illness. Uh, so you really want to take care of yourself. Okay, Mama Cat. Um, and possibly arguments with somebody. Not sure who this person might be. It hasn't named anybody yet. But, uh, yeah, possibly uh, something like that. Um, now, let's see. This one. Uh, blocked energy. Uh, listlessness. And with this also comes... Uh, there's a person here that... Uh, um, they're in your life. They might have questionable motives. Okay. It, whatever they might be doing, it might come with a price tag that you're not knowing about yet. Okay. Uh, I see an upset in plans with that one. Um, delays. Uh, you might be feeling kind of lost. In an extreme case, it could mean unexpected travel, um, but that's an extreme case, and I, I wouldn't necessarily say that's the case for you. Um, whatever the uh, life seems to be taking you in the wrong direction, um, and it warns you against um, warns you against being possessive of anything, and. Um, Oh, boy. Possessive and, uh, well, uh, wants you to act to your will and not go against your will, okay? Don't do anything that's inappropriate or anything like that. Try to keep your nose to the grindstone. And uh, now this is a positive room, so maybe it might give a positive spin on your reading. So... I'm not. I'm still not sure if this applies, but maybe you can tell me, Mama Cat, if it does. Um, I see a victory coming up. Clear vision. Um, follow your instincts. Good time to follow your instincts. Coming up here in the near future. Um, I see achievement. You're going to achieve something. And also a good time for rest for you too, Mama Cat. You need that rest, I think. After all this going on, yeah, you need a rest. So just take it easy. Um, yeah, th this has a pretty positive ending. So let's hope. Let's hope this is part of part of it. Might not be, but let's hope. All right, Mama Cat. Ah, oh, that one didn't make it to the floor. Made it to my lap. That was it. Okay. Now, who's next? African Sun. And African Sun, I believe you told me your name. I'm so sorry. I have a really bad memory about names. So, excuse me for giving it. I should say for not getting it. Oh, that one popped right up. So I think that one applies. Tag out of fits. Oh, okay. A couple pretty good ones coming up here. This one is a definite. Very little on this, so I wouldn't 
I wouldn't hold whatever that is very uh, take it with a grain of salt because it's it's pretty low okay for you African son I see purity um, becoming um, this is also refers to the great mother this rune um, and it, it, it kind of indicates like the birth of something new, not necessarily a person, the birth, birth of a baby, but a birth of ideas and inspiration and creativity. Maybe something you've given up working on in the past. It's a good time to get back into it. Okay. Looks like it's going to uh, work out now. You'll be able to figure out why you stopped or whatever was holding you back. Good time to do that. Uh, it looks like you're going to have ambition, which is always good. Um, there's going to be light coming into your life, uh, a breakthrough of some sort, uh, growth, and also cosmic consciousness. And with that, I would say, um, follow your your. Your premonitions, if you get any premonition, any um, instinct about something, follow your instincts. Very good time for that right now. And, boy, this has been coming up a lot for everybody so far. Um, I see victory in the long run. Um, once again, it's telling you, follow your instincts. Follow your your guidance, your your, your vision. Follow it. It's going to take you places. Uh, I see achievement, but also you too need to uh, possibly look at taking a rest, taking it easy for a while. Okay, um, yeah, with, with this in the reading, it's always kind of a good reading, no matter how bad things may be. I'll let you all know that even that I've just read for, you know, that's not a bad reading if that, if that room's in it. Not normally, not normally. Um, it, it's warning you here against being selfish in any way. Um, be involved in, in, in your life. Don't sit back and be a spectator. Um, and watch, uh, be careful. Don't, don't be alone. Try not to be alone. Try being out there and connected to people and everything. Um. And watch your ego. Keep your ego in check. It's warning you, not that you have a problem with that, okay? But it's just telling you to keep your ego in check when you go about this. Um, now, on the weaker side of it, it says that weak will, low energy, um, missed opportunities, um, possible illness, for this, I would say, um, yeah, you're going to have some weak will, but not that extreme. If you get sick, it's not going to be a major illness. It's, you know, everything associated with this rune like that, I would give it kind of a lower because it really wasn't drawing me in that much whenever I picked it with the pendulum. Okay, so just take that as the lower spectrum of the meaning. All right there, African sun. Next up, we have Susan P. And these are in no particular order. I'm just kind of, I just kind of grouped them together as they appeared. Susan P.
Okay. Now, Susan P. I'm calling you that because there's another Susan coming up that I'll be reading for next. Um, but she goes by a slightly different name, but just to differentiate, Susan P. Um, okay, in your life coming up, I see trickery, interference, um, deceit. Someone's really kind of, uh, this is someone you need to look out for. They're, they're really messing with your life. And uh, I don't know whether you're aware of it yet, but... Uh, yeah, it, and it's going on. Um, an upset in plans, delays, you might be feeling lost. This person might be behind this, this room here. Rad, they might be behind it, or Rado. This is, uh, these rooms can have several different pronunciations on the names. And honestly, no one's really positive on how to pronounce them because they came before, you know, writing was established in the area and they had their own sounds and stuff. And ain't no one old enough to remember. Okay. It warns you, escape temptation. Not a good time to fall into temptation. Avoid, avoid being greedy. And uh, just in general, don't do anything that goes against your conscience. Follow your conscience. It's going to be a good guide for you. Now, this next one, it warns you, have patience. Things are going to work out. Um, watch for omens. Now is a good time. Uh, you know, the spirits are probably spend, sending you omens or the angels. You know, they're trying to give you a message. Beware of that. Look out for that. Um I see a stressful period. Um, obstacles in your way. Uh, you you need something. There's some sort of necessity here that uh, you can't quite get. I don't know if it's something you need that's more expensive than what you have, or it's just something you need and you just can't get hold of it right now. Okay, and this also warns, you know, uh, don't be selfish. Uh, try to be involved in your life. Um, don't be alone. Uh, be sure to check your ego at the door. <laughs> well, you know, keep your ego intact. And uh, be careful because uh, it, this is a time when you can get into trouble. Okay. So just kind of watch your P's and Q's, you know, and uh, it looks like it might work itself out a little bit. Just watch for this person messing in your life because I think they're going to cause a lot of this problem in here. Okay, Susan, I'm sorry to give you that bad news, but uh, that's what the runes are saying. <clears throat> And please excuse me if my readings might be off, you know, because I haven't done them for over a month and a little out of whack, maybe. You know, you don't, if you don't use it, you lose it type thing. Okay, well, this is propped up by those, so it goes upward.
Okay, this is weird. I've never had this happen before. But, uh, um, these three are so close together and they're all kind of got that push to them that I look for when I do my pendulum readings. And they're all pushing and I'm not sure if one rune is putting off the energy into the ones beside it or what. I'm going to just read it as is and uh, hopefully it'll it'll make some sense. Okay, starting off here at the beginning. Uh, oh, I see money coming your way. Fulfillment. Uh, possibly power. Uh, definitely something's coming your way. Something either money directly or something valuable is going to come your way. Um, but with all this, it says, be careful. Don't be greedy. Don't go overboard and to the extreme. You know what I mean? Not that you would be greedy. It just warns against that. Possible long journey coming up in your future. Um, and it, it's not necessarily a physical journey from this point to this point. But it could be an emotional journey of sorts too. Um, like right now. You know, well, I saw this thing on uh, Facebook that lists a uh, number of situations on whether or not you you're, you have a cosmic conscience change going on. And right now I covered, you know, pretty much everything on the list. So my, comic, my cosmic conscience is changing now to something more extreme. Don't know what that is, but uh, sorry, got way off track there on that one. Um, but it's, it's telling you, look to the future. Changes are coming. Uh, movement and uh, trust. It tells you to trust. That might be a hard thing for you to do, but try, you know, be trustworthy and trust others. Uh, keep up your positivity. Um, let me see. I see you being in... in good uh, terms with somebody uh, knowledge you know what you're doing you know follow your your instincts because you know what you're doing follow that knowledge it'll help you out um, but yeah you're getting along good with people it looks looks like a very good reading so far okay but uh, then you get down to here um, I see uh, disruptive forces coming into your life. And uh, what you might have thought was a sure thing is ending up being uh, a negative payoff. It's going to turn bad for you. Okay. Trust in your wisdom. Follow your own wisdom. Um. It's, it's a time when uh, you might be like an apprentice to somebody. You might be uh, learning. You know, someone might be your teacher teaching you how to do something that you've never done before. Um, uh, someone's giving you advice or you're going through a test of some sort. And it's not necessarily a physical test where you write down the answers on the paper, but... They could be testing you um, emotionally or something like that, testing uh, your belief system, your faith. Um, oh, and with this one also comes inspiration. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, inspiration. So follow, follow this advice. If anyone's trying to give it to you, follow it. It's going to inspire you to go on and do something greater. And this says you're going to be rich in family. It sounds like, you know, you're going to have plenty of family around. And remember, <clears throat> that
that friends can be family in a, a roundabout way. So, uh, you know, if not rich in actual biological family, you can be rich in friends who are like family to you. Um, and it, it talks of, about uh, property. Um, you're, you're, you know, it's a very good time for property. Um, t good time to study your heritage if you're inclined to do that. Um, time to focus on the house a lot right now. And uh, it's also saying that your work isn't over or anything. You ain't finished doing whatever you're trying to do, whatever your plans are. You've got more hills to climb, more obstacles in your way coming. Okay? But it's going pretty good so far in spite of some of these, you know. So don't despair. Don't give up, Susan. Okay, I hope that made some sense for you. Now, I believe I said double sue. Let me go back and check. Yep, double sue is next. Okay, double sue. Mix up the bag good. Taking those two out while I, before I forget. Sue. Okay, Sue. <clears throat> it looks like you too are rich in property and family and, you know, rich in, in that kind of area. Uh, and like I just explained to uh, Susan P., um, that can also mean friends. You can be rich in friends at the same time. Because friends can be like family. Friends can be better than family sometimes. <laughs> but um, yeah, you're rich in family. Um, good time to study your heritage. Uh, focus on your house right now. And, um, and remember too, it's not done yet. Whatever's in the plan books, it's not done yet. There's still mountains to climb. Your, your problem's not over yet. There's still stuff coming your way. Um, but not for a little while. <clears throat> not for a little while. You're going to have a slow down period coming up. Um, maybe feeling some energy loss. Um, hmm. It's kind of, kind of like a cooling down period for you. Um you need to focus on, on yourself. Uh, you need privacy right now. Um, you need some separation. You'll experience some separation of some sort, and it's good. You need that, that chill period for yourself. And uh, 
watch out about ill feelings towards somebody too. It does mention that. Now, the next one over here, um, it says now, once things start moving again, it looks like you're going in the wrong direction. Um, and it, it warns you uh, not to be possessive of things. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> follow your instincts. Mm. Excuse me, I need a drink. Okay. Yeah, follow your instincts. Don't do anything that goes against your conscience. Um, on over to here. Uh, boy, something you've been working on. Uh, it's going to have negative payoffs. Um, and it looks like disruptive forces. Um, someone's going to be in your life that's going to mess things up for you. Watch out for them. Try to avoid them. It seems like there's always somebody right there trying to pee in your Cheerios, you know, that, that you can't go about life without someone really messing with you. Okay, this this shows dissatisfaction. Um, oh, boy, it could be some misery, uh, fear. Um, it warns against being headstrong uh, and impatient. Don't be impatient. Um, and that's probably a back here associated with this. Things are going to slow down. Don't be impatient. Take it, you know, and just kind of roll with it while you can. And just accept that that's, that's life. Now, some sort of secret's going to be revealed to you. Um, or possibly a secret of your own will be revealed. But normally this means someone's going to reveal a secret to you. Um, you know, some sort of uh, mystery. Um, yeah. Something's going to have unexpected results. Okay, so expect the unexpected. And be aware that someone possibly is going to be disloyal to you. Watch out for those folks. Okay. So, Double Sue, I hope that made some sense to you. <laughs> and that was kind of poetic. Didn't really mean to. Okay, next up, what are we doing next? Oh, where are we next? Can't do the tarot over here. I'll, okay, I can do botanical and uh, past life oracle. Ooh. Well, I'm glad to get to read these cards. Not too many people read them. Or ask for them to be read, I should say. Okay, here we go. Botanical Inspirations. And this is for Tom. Let me find Tom M. Tom M, I'm going to give three cards.
Okay. First one up. Oops. I can't see. Here we go. First one up is the morning glory. And what it says underneath is affection and determination. The morning glory, which blossoms for a day, differs not at a heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. Ah, uh, I don't quite get that. But let me get that reading on that. Each flower on the meandering morning glory vine blooms only for a single day. As dusk darkens the sky, the flowers all curl up for the night. The very next morning brings fresh growth and the promise of yet more glorious flowers upon each vine. In the Victorian language of flowers, the morning glory with its tendency, tenacious tendrils was associated with love and affection. In Chinese lore, the morning glory symbolizes the determination of two legendary lovers who resolved to meet them ever after their parents separated them with a wider river. Okay, the message, inspirational message. When life becomes a challenge, remember the morning glory for which nothing is the obstacle. A fence or a wall simply gives to the tender but determined vine a new new place to grow and another reason to climb higher toward the sun. And, yep, that was it. Now, next one we have for Tom is the dahlia. And the dahlia. I'm sorry. That's my shaky arm from my stroke. Okay, there's a dahlia. It says, uh, dignity. A wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has his pride without dignity. Dahlias originated in Mexico and were brought to Europe in the 16th century by Spanish explorers. The Empress Josephine imported them from her own garden at the Chateau de Malmaison in France. In France, excuse me. <laughs> I got carried away with my French. Okay, the dahlias were so rare and precious, worth more than diamonds, that Josephine tended to them personally. The colorful blooms put on their flowers were done with the season. Dahlias impersonized grace and dignity uh, and become and came to be called the queen of the autumn garden. Inspirational message is easy enough to simply attract monetary attention, but to earn the ongoing respect of others requires frequent displays of dignity. Whew. Okay. Now, let me go back. Okay. And the last one is nasturtium. And if you've never had one of these, you ought to try them. They taste a little bit like a radish, but they're completely edible. The flowers, the plant, everything about them, they're edible. And you can uh, use them like uh, as garnish on your plate, but then you can eat them. The nasturtium says, victory and conquest. He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. The, oh, here it goes telling you just what I told you. The entire nasturtium plant is edible including its flowers, leaves, and seeds. The name translates from the Latin phrase for nose twisters, a reference to the plant's pungent, peppery taste. There are several stories that explain why the nasturtium is associated with victory. 
Linnaeus named the plant uh, tropum, tropaleum, tropaleum, I can't pronounce that, it's Latin, became, he thought, the helmet-shaped flower resembled the trophies of battlefield, battlefield victory. Also, the first Europeans to discover nasturtiums in Mexico and South America were conquistadors. Thus, the plan, the plant came to emphasize. Thus, the plant came to symbolize conquest. Inspirational message: Let even the humblest of flowers remind you that the greatest victories you experience may be small ones, but no one else oversees. Conquering those inner voices of South self-doubt is the first step toward your personal growth yeah change is good not always but frequently change is good now Bridget I don't know what set of cards you might want I've got so many but while I have these out I'll give you a reading out of these and hope you like it Okay, your first one is false indigo. Oops, sorry, folks, I got to keep changing the page back. Okay, false indigo. Okay, on it it says immersion and intuition. When you reach the edge of what you should know, you will be at the beginning of what you should sense. The common name for this plant, false indigo, derives from the fact that the blue dyed made from this the blue dye made from this flower was used as a substitute for indigo in the New World. Though the Latin name Baptista means immersion and totally relates to the plant process, through folklore the plant has become an association with spiritual baptism. Uh, the strikingly, strikingly tall spires of this garden plant are covered with deep indigo blue flowers that also have a crystal co correlation with the third eye chakra which opens up pres prescription insight and intuition messages inspirational messages to experience to experience things that are at a deeper level Look beyond what your own five senses revealed. Imagine yourself in your own reasonable bikes at the shop or wherever he was coming from. Immerse yourself in your own inner knowing. Trust that your gratitude. Trust your gratitude. Oh. Trust your intuition to reveal the truths that will guide you to a fully realized life okay and that's something i'm going through right now i need to uh, uh completely turn around my life next up we have primrose under it it says youthful love if I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. Primrose is a sacred flower of Freya, the Norse goddess of love. In Latin, its name is Primula, meaning first rose, first rose of spring, and it is also the flower of fr first love. In the secret language of flowers, the yellow primrose conveys the message between young lovers, I can't live without you. 
The purple primrose represents confidence, although the, through the ages, brightly colored primroses have inspired poets, including Shakespeare, Burns, Milton, and Wood, Wordsworth. Inspirational message, when we are young, we are willing to take changes for love. We are willing to take chances for love. As we go through life, we should remember that youthful confidence and exuberance in all we do. Always keep your heart open. Love is all around. And the last card is... Come on. Here we go. The last card is Snapdragon. And on it, it says, Graciousness and Benevolence. To act of kindness, uh, to act of kindness, no matter how small, is never wasted. Snapdragons were first discovered growing wild in Italy and Spain. In Victorian England, the snapdragon communicated grace and benevolence. If a gentleman gave a lady a bouquet containing a snapdragon, it was a compliment to her character and her kindness. The dragon-like blossoms were also believed to have mystical powers that warded off evil and misfortune. Snapdragons were given as housewarming gifts, as well as tokens of gratitude for gracious and kind hospitality. Inspirational message, it is easy to be kind and gracious with people we love and care about most. But true grace and benevolence extends to those we do not know and sometimes even to those we, we may not like much. Okay. There you go, Bridget. Okay, and last one here is, hmm. who is it for? I forget. Rain. Okay, this one's for Rain. She wants past life oracle cards. Okay. Lisa G.
Okay, Rain. <clears throat> rain, rain, rain. In a for former life, it looks like you experienced persecution and in inquisition, which reminds me of the Spanish Inquisition, which killed a lot of people. Okay, next one is uh, forgiveness. And it might ask for forgiveness for what happened to you. And the last one is biblical. Uh, so it's something that's already documented in the Bible. Okay, for the prosecution and inquisition, this card was drawn as validation of your suspicions that you were accused of witchcraft, being a heathen, or other crimes in the past. You suffered greatly as a result of the ensuing persecution and the past that has carried your character and you were banned for nothing to do with you. Your neighbor and the government said that you were using spells, which was a capital offense. Okay, next one, forgiveness. And it means the situation you're inquiring about will be healed or improved through your willingness to release old store anger, old stored anger, that you may not have been, may, may, that may not even be con consciously aware that you've been holed up on to resentment. Your anger may be showing up in subtle ways, such as high blood pressure, addictions, insomnia, or moodiness. Wouldn't it feel great to have a stable moods and other control over your health? Forgiveness isn't the same as saying the actions of others were justified or acceptable. Instead, forgiveness is a statement of self-empowerment. You may choose to detoxify yourself of all stored anger and other negative energies. After all, when you hang on to, an, to anger, it only hurts you and it may not, and not the other person. To heal this situation, be aware that medication and introspection are important practices that can help you. Meditation. Like a dark cloud floating across the sky, recognize that the source comes from a past life and let it go. Forgiveness is cathartic and profoundly healing. Free yourself from negative and harmful emotions. And the last one is, come on, where are you at? Here we go. Last one, biblical. Now, let's see what Biblical has to say. Biblical, here we go. 
when you read about Jesus, Moses, and other biblical features, you know that there's more to the story because you were there. Either you were a follower of Jesus or Moses, or you lived in the Holy Land. You may have also have lives, have had lives alongside other famous biblical features as, as figures. As a result, traditional religious inter interpretations of the Bible stories don't ring true to you. You know in your heart and soul what really happened. As such, you tend to follow your own religious and spiritual growth. If you witnessed the crucifixion, you may have emotional scarring stemming from your stemming from the heartbreak and horror that followed your beloved teacher's death. These reactions may have caused you and the other guides uh, to disappear. Um, it says to connect with your God given abilities to pray for help from the biblical figures to whom you have most connected. You'll learn that they have forgiven all transgressions and they'll be moved on with the same spiritual leave and they'll help you do the same. Alrighty then, got a little bit sidetracked there, actually by a few days, um, but here we go, uh, now a dice reading for Bridget. Okay. So that gives us, um, hmm, what one is that? That's, uh, uh, I believe that's Pluto, which is an Earth sign. So lesser Earth over Cancer, which is a water sign. So lesser Earth over water. Let me look this up for you. Lesser Earth over water. Here we go. Okay. Lesser Earth over water gives you quicksand. Out of control emotions that are not grounded enough by reality. Quicksand is a dangerous pool, unmoving but deadly. When Earth attempts to overcome water but, but does not have the strength to do it, the result is often disastrous. Water's flexibility is not the idea base to stand upon. Oh, water's flexibility is not the ideal base to stand important matters upon. When it comes to the long-term security of the home, work, or wealth, water's emotional and changeable reasoning is rarely the right answer. One solution is to use more earth in the future. Keep pouring on the rock and solid soil until the danger from water is contained or overpowered. Be dependable, predictable, make and follow plans. Be calmly strong. Water's wild emotions can be too powerful to handle with some, without some grounding influence. And this message says that Earth attempted to add solidarity, solidity, but that it failed and the results cannot be trusted. 
Quicksand has just enough earth for the ground to behave like a liquid. Mudslides and earthquakes are all ways in which the usual dependable ground becomes less, less fixed. You should be very careful that the amount of water in this situation is wanted. It's possible that it is. Maybe you need deep dreams right now, wild emotions, and to lose yourself in love and feeling right now. In that case, the earth here is the mundane world that has tried to drag you back, but it did not succeed. This is a victory for dreams over a predictable daily life that wants boring activity. Often, though, the situation is a trap. Quicksand is one of the most obvious warning combinations because Earth's influence brings useful things like money, food, the home, order, and stability. These are not ideas that you can do entirely without for very long. Regardless of how you feel the balance of elements is playing here, there's a danger that should not be ignored. A change needs to be made or the change or the chance of failure will remain too high. Water wins over Earth and remains the main situation after the defeated newcomer retreats. You should therefore look carefully at which aspect of water you will be facing. The unpredictable, changeable liquid nature can leave you lost and confused if you don't give yourself some more solid ground to stand on. Dreams and feelings are good, but if you want them to manifest in the real world, they must transform into solid achievement. Check that you are suitably grounded and that your emotions are not overruling common sense. If your emotions are perfectly calm and you decide that more earth is what you want, then keep going. The situation is still fluid and there is at least some earth here and adding more will only firm up the ground to a safer level. All right, Bridget. So I'm not how sure. I'm not sure how emotional things are for you right now. Um, if they're not, and uh, a little uh, pick me up is what you need to get your life going again. Then, uh, yeah, definitely stay on the same track and uh, allow those emotions to roam free for a little while. Until you've had enough. Now, for Lisa G, the tarot cards. And I'm shuffling them. Okay, Lisa, your sense of judgment's being called into play right now. Um, right now is a very good time for making decisions and, and making uh, hard judgment calls. Um, you'll be able to see things from all sides and make a, a good call on it. Now I see um, some advice uh, being given, possibly uh, money outright or something of value being given to you. Um,
Now, I'm not sure what uh, what happened there. Um, you're regretting something right now. This seems to be going back a ways. Um, but uh, recently you've begun, begun regretting um, something about your past that you've left behind. Could be a person, um, could be a thing. something you've left in your past and you thought you could do without it but now you're starting to regret it looks like uh, there's been some problems uh, financial issues have been rough um, now it looks like uh, It'll be like a small miracle. Something will happen. Unexpected. It'll be like magical. Out of the blue. Um, or it has just recently happened. Something very unexpected. It's going to change. It's going to be in your favor. It's going to change your life. It's uh, going to improve things. Um, to some degree... Not sure how much, because it doesn't resolve this thing. You're still bearing this burden from the past and uh, the regrets of it and everything. It's uh, it's still going to be going on. Doesn't look like there's going to be any relief from that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now, over here. Okay, it looks like your life's going to take a bit of a change. Um, and I don't know how extreme this will be, but uh, you're going to stop looking at uh, the spiritual side of things and go more for a little bit of... Uh, a physical monetary type thing I don't know how strong this is um, but it's something it looks like you're going to need to do for your own personal uh, state of mind maybe um, just like a little break from it or something perhaps and it's something you need it's going to make you happy it's something you really need it. It'll uh, give you a break maybe from things. I don't know. It could possibly bring some relief from the issue, this burden you've been bearing or something you've left behind. It could be a little bit of relief. Something maybe to uh, take your mind off things. Or... Perhaps, you know, there's a change coming. Maybe that'll help bring about this change of whatever's been bothering you. It'll bring that to an end. Um, I don't think it's a change you've been wanting to happen though, not the one you were hoping for, because um, it looks like here, at least in the, in the near future coming up, the mo money is still going to be an issue, or um, something someone's given you, uh, perhaps they'll, they'll take it back, 
or that gift will be lost or stolen or damaged in some way. Money will be lost. Um, something of, of physical value, monetary value. Or you'll get more bad news about money. Hopefully not. But, um, yeah, that's, that's still going to be an issue. So, yeah, two, two main things going on here. Above anything, and it's this money issue. It keeps showing up. And also this thing, uh, regret, or something you've left in, in the past. Um, that, that's an issue going on in here, and it's, it's very prominent, but, uh, there, there you go, Lisa. Hope you understood that somehow. Okay. Next up... I'll give Bridget a, a card reading. Okay. Bridget. Bridget, in this reading, there's a very strong presence of uh, the staves, the wands, which means that uh, it's, it's something to do with the home, the family or the home, okay? Um, now, right now, at the present, uh, there looks like there seems to be some sort of ha unhappiness or unrest at the house. Um, things look like they should be fine, but they just aren't for some reason. And I'm not sure what, what's up. Um, maybe there's somebody in particular that's trying to start a fight or... or either physically or maybe uh, or behind the scenes trying to work up a fight between two people maybe looks like things in the past at the household have been pretty good um, there may have been something involving the house that you've been working on and uh, it's just it's just not working out at this time. Uh, it might be just a bad timing of things for it, but it's just it's not working out. And I see some depression or something. Um, someone's bringing you news that is depressing, or has just recently brought you news, or. They, they've given you something or done something that made you unhappy and it seems to be it seems to be kind of pretty unhappy not just a mild thing but this looks like it's uh, pretty pretty bother, bother you pretty bad there, there I go had to get the pretty in there somewhere <laughs> it bothered you pretty bad I take it um, Now things are coming around. And it looks like it's in your benefit somehow. Um, 
But the, the, the wheel of fortune can be fickle too. This is the wheel of fortune. And, you know, it can go in your favor one minute and then boom, it can turn on you in the next. Well, this is saying it's going in your favor, but leading up to that point, I'm not sure. Because um, these are all the wands, the staves, and they're all kind of in uh, negative positions. Uh, here's news coming up of the family or the household. It's not going to be good news. Um, maybe it's taking back whatever good news was given to you over here. It's changing back somehow. Um, I see, uh, like arguments, petty bickering and stuff, uh, between maybe you and other family members. Um, just not a happy time. There, uh, there's just something not going right between you and, uh, this other person or these other people. I'm not sure what the situation is. Now this last one is good news financially. Okay, now this might be what these squabbles and bickerings and fighting going on or all but it might be a money issue. If it is, it's going to work itself out. It's going to be very favorable toward you at least, Bridget. And uh, in the long run, things are going to work out financially. Not sure about the home life here, though. That might be in a bit more of a of a ruckus. It doesn't quite say how it ends, but it doesn't end on really great terms. Okay, Bridget. Sorry, I'm giving you all some bad ones. Not real bad, they have their ups and downs. Anyway, that's all for the readings, except Bridget, it's your lucky day, or maybe unlucky, because I told you all in a video um, not too long ago that I would gotten a new set of runes. These are the Wiccan runes. They're uh, like the other runes in ways, but they're different in other ways. Different symbols, different meanings. Even the shape of the runes is different. And I've never read anybody's Wiccan runes before. But Bridget, you're the lucky guinea pig today. Since you won everything, I'm giving you a, a first shot at a reading at this. And you'll have to let me know how it goes. Okay. Um. So, let me see what's going on. I don't use the pendulum for these. Oop. And the sun. What comes up, comes up. <laughs> okay. First rune is the crossroads. I see blessings coming your way. It's advising you to invest in yourself. You'll be reaping rewards. Um, it's uh, letting you know too, you need to be sure to provide for yourself at the same time. 
and uh, education it's a good time for learning if you want to try to learn something new very good time for that, that right now okay um, now this this rune is kind of like a verb it's it connects in this case people um, circumstances that connect people um, and it also it's, it's referring to combining things to create something new so that's kind of like the rune of creation oh, and it's an, an eye so lifting the veil seeing truth focusing on something look at the facing runes for clues psychic abilities witnessing okay so good, good time for you to follow your psychic abilities your uh, your instincts your intuition good time for following that um, now you want to focus on um, in, in particular focus on investing into yourself providing for yourself uh, learning how to do something new investigate these are all tied together in a positive way but they're tied together so you want to really uh, listen to those and make time for yourself you've probably done a lot for others here recently now it's time to focus on yourself and do stuff for yourself perfect time for it okay next up a major life decision Ooh, the unknown. Oh, being afraid to move forward. Okay, so apparently a major life decision's happening or will soon be happening. And uh, you, you're not sure how to take it on. In fact, you're, it looks like you're kind of afraid to take it on. Um, there seems to be a fear of the unknown and uh, what uh, what could be going on um, okay this major life changes I don't know it might be referring to this this is uh, the female rune um, traditional female abilities and characteristics being a healer home creativity once again creativity comes up nurturing caring well it's talking about taking care of yourself and this talks about being a nurturer and a carer and everything but uh, maybe it's saying you've done this for other people now do it for yourself you're going to need it. And lastly, okay, okay, there's a major life change going on here. Well, this is just talking about the positive side of that. Because it's reminding you that there's a new beginning. Um, it says that you'll be making good choices. Uh, you'll have good health and vitality you'll be healing well good news and justice okay I hope you caught that all that last uh, part was uh, good news and justice the camera clicked off right after I finished that so I just want to make sure that gets in there um, So Bridget, does any of these uh, make any sense to you? Um, I'd kind of like to know. 
um, see how these are. Um, I didn't get a lot of instructions on how to read them or anything, so I'm just kind of uh, taking a stab at it and uh, all like that. Um, but you'll have to let me know if uh, any of those make any sense and help guide me along to learning these, if you don't mind, Bridget. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, there we go with that. Um, Now, I put these away. And yay! I finally got them done, people. I am so sorry they've taken so long. But they're finally done. <laughs> 